Hi, POD viewers. Welcome back to the POD News Desk. Well, there is a big wave effect rippling through the great nation of the Philippines. What am I talking about? Globe Telecom in the news today. Commonly shortened as Globe is a major provider of telecommunication services throughout the nation. It operates one of the largest mobile, fixed line, and broadband networks in the country. Globe's main competitor in the fixed line telephone market is PLDT. Its main competitors are PLDT cellular services, namely Smart, TNT, and Sun Cellular. In 2016, Globe introduced its Globe Lifestyle brand as a way to connect to its customers through fashion. It also launched two entertainment divisions, Globe Studios, which focuses on film and television production, and Globe Live, which focuses on musical events and live concerts. But, there have been reports of Globe being dead throughout the Philippines. So, inquiring minds want to know, Globe, what is going on? Before I go any further, I wish to express to you I'm not here to bash Globe. While I am not here to pick up PLDT, I'm not here to compare one against the other. Apples versus oranges. That's not my job. In truth, and according to many of the nation's good people, they both take turns missing the mark of average, let alone excellence. Let's go to the video slideshow complaints box and see what people are saying throughout the Philippines. Here is one from Real Talk to Globe representative getting back to RL. Hello RL, we're here to provide care and support when you need it most. Share your experiences with us. We'd love to help you. That was a typical, typical reply that I've seen many times. Here's another one. This one from Julius Caesar. Globe owes its subscribers, especially the postpaid customers, an explanation and advisory on its internet signal today. You're in the telecom industry, but don't know how to communicate the situation. Don't sleep on your job. Carlo ch chimes in and says, Basically, he gave 100 pesos to load. It said that it went through successfully. He did not receive his load. So he tacked on another 100, did not receive that. Lost 200 pesos. Sorry about that, Carlo. Malu, no broadband signal on the North Domingo San Juan. Tried calling the hotline, no response at all. No, no busy signal, no ringing, could not connect. Blank, dead, dead hotline. Hmm. Albert, can I refund my Go Surf 50? Well, you most certainly can try, Albert. Um, someday you want somebody to file a lawsuit against Globe, stating he'll join. Yeah, I'm sure that there'll be a lot of people on that jeepney. Here's one from H2O. Globe has 4G issues in Davao City, Matina area. Well, throughout the Philippines. You see that OK sign? That's not an OK sign. In the Philippines, that sign means corrupt. And I'm not going to go that far. Here's one from Chi Chi. Well, traffic heck. That's why you decide to work at home. The internet sucks. The end of the Filipino dream. Come on, Chi Chi. Don't hinge all your hopes and dreams on a telecom service. 
there is better waiting out there for you. Here's one from Cal. Reports that he had a problem on September 15th, was supposed to have a service tech come out on September 17th. Um, the service tech was a, uh, how do you say? No show. Cheesed off. She chimes in. It's never a priority of an internet provider to give the speeds we pay for. When it comes to a telco ISP, their only priority is our money. And 90% of the time, these telco ISPs oversell their service. We're going to get back to that at the end of this video. Mike says, once again, you cannot even measure the speed of the connection because it's too slow to run the speed test. <laughs> Globe prov proving that their uselessness once again. Oh, cheesed off is back. Seems Globe is facing a lot of technical problems, uh, you think? <laughs> also, Globe Gcash service has been facing issues also. Yes, they have. Uh, we've had a lot of complaints about the Gcash uh, being down. Uh, we'll address that at the end of the video. Marla or Maria states been sending load to my globe TM users using Gcash won't work money was taken out no load received that uh, has been a typical uh, complaint that I've read and I've read about 500 Ray chimes in all providers here in the Philippines are useless money grabbing companies whose only interest is to make as much money as possible while giving the very minimum customer service hmm. Zachary says same here no internet and landline which started 1 a.m. on September 15 I am working from home so it's internet is a necessity to my IT job role wake up globe <laughs> Lara says can't log into my Gcash account. Service unavailable. Need to pay something urgent. Tan says, same here. Gcash is down. Yeah, it has been down. I don't know what the status of it is today, uh, but I'm sure you will let us know. Rivera says, bad service. Bad. No service on my globe for eight months. Holy cow. Dating back to June. 2018 wondering why should I pay for no service well you don't Nigel says I think globe and PLDT days are numbered there's new kids on the block globe and PLDT are going out of business both of them charge too much and for their service and if you don't pay the bill they cut you off sounds like an old girlfriend <laughs> clementine be firm when you are asking for a rebate they can't deliver you the proper service that you are paying for they can't hold their side of the bargain they should gladly give you a rebate well they should but they're not going to be glad about it glow bob says what happened with your services you keep giving people promises that you can't achieve why don't you just give us a straight answer? Now, you see, that's been one of the biggest concerns and complaints. I read about 500 complaints, and the biggest one is that poor communication. Juan says, countless calls on the hotline, laughing on the phone, according to him. Uh, they will ask you to reset your router. Uh, the internet will work only for a short period of time and then goes out again. Marge, unreliable internet connection, useless and worst customer service. Notice the capitalization. Yeah, Marge isn't very happy today. Neither are a lot of people throughout the Philippines. Here's one from SG. Why can't you inform your customers? Hmm. You, you, would, you would think so, SG. Uh, again, that is probably the number one uh, complaint 
Uh, here's one by MLBB. And a lot of people asking throughout the Philippines, what just happened? <laughs> what just happened? That is the one million dollar question, MLBB. Okay, there you have it. From the people themselves, in their words, not mine. Um, what other consumers had a concern about overselling the bandwidth? What did that person mean by that? Well, it's like the airlines. They do it all the time, overselling the plane uh, seats on the plane. Somebody ends up getting bumped. Um, it's also like a, let's take for example, a movie cinema that seats 300 people and the movie theater, they for some reason sell 350 tickets. Uh, what do you do with the extra 50 people? Just like when you go to a gas station, you try to pump six gallons of gas into a five gallon can, uh, just not going to fit no matter how hard you try. Same way with the bandwidth overselling to make the money. The bandwidth cannot support all the cu uh, customers uh, which are being provided service. So it clogs up the bandwidth, slows down the service. That was the point that one of the consumers was trying to make. Uh, Gcash, want to touch on that? I don't know the status of that uh, after this report, but try not to get upset at the bill payment center. Try not to get upset with the staff there. It's not their fault uh, that the system is down, that the system is not working. Uh, same with uh, the globe load. If you're sending, if you're buying load and it says that the transaction went through, uh, they take your money, but you did not receive your load. Hey, uh, the problem is with globe. Uh, yeah, so go go easy on the bill payment center staff. They're just as frustrated as you are. Um, and I think one of the biggest concerns that uh, among some of the complaints that I read is the lack of communication. Uh, you know, people are reasonable. People are reasonable. They understand that crap happens. But what is unacceptable is the poor communication. It leaves the consumer feeling as though you don't care, that you care more about the money than the person. Um, so anyway, uh, you know, I'm sure that, uh, that you do care, uh, but you just maybe perhaps according to them, you need to show it a little bit more. Um, again, anything less is not acceptable. People are paying for a service. They're not asking for anything extra. They're just, their expectations are to get what they're paying for. Okay, everybody, that's a wrap from the POD News Desk. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, be nice. <laughs> Put them down in the comment section. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.